In today's video, I'm going to divulge solutions to three of the biggest and the most common issues that you're going to face as a graphic designer in your career when it comes to dealing with clients. There are so many issues a designer will come across, but for today's video, I've just selected three which I feel you're most likely going to experience at some point. And sponsoring today's video is PDF Element, which I'm going to show you all of the neat features that will help you in your graphic design workflow. So stay tuned to the very end to hear more about PDF Element. So the first major problem that you're probably going to face or will have faced at some point in your design career is finding that a project is really dragging along in terms of the time spent working on it or the client keeps asking for small changes weeks or even months after the project's completion. Now as a graphic designer, your time should be seen as precious. Every single hour you spend on a project should be spent as effectively as possible. And so having a client draining your time with changes here and there, or maybe a project is dragging along over many weeks is not exactly ideal. Now this can be addressed very easily and it all starts with a contract. If you don't issue contracts to your clients already, then I really suggest you start doing so. And this is one prime example as to why. You can state in the contract that any work undertaken after the project's completion by a certain date will cost the client X amount of dollars per hour. You can also stipulate how many revisions the budget offers and that is something I personally always put down in my contracts. I allow for two rounds of revisions most of the time when I'm working on say for example a logo. Now back when I started freelancing, I didn't use contracts and I would end up making changes and alterations on the design many, many days or even weeks after I expected the project to be completed. So please don't allow for your time to be wasted on free work when a simple contract can either save you time or offer paid overtime. The second problem that you're likely to face at some point in your design career and is a headache for many designers is when a client is adamant or stubborn on a specific concept or a design, but that specific concept or design turns out to be somewhat terrible. Now we are professionals in our field and we have spent countless hours training our minds to understand what makes an effective graphic design. Now it's safe to say that your client probably doesn't have such an eye for an effective design as you do. Yet, you have some clients who put forward an idea or some random sketch and they're not going to budge from this idea whatever you say or whatever you do. Now, if you are aware that the design isn't going to benefit their company or their business, then it's your job as a designer to put forward exactly why their concept or their idea is not going to work. Explain to them in a manner that they can understand why it's not going to work and maybe even make a quick alternative and set them side by side to contrast. Some designers might not see the situation as a problem because the client has such a strong vision of what they want, there isn't much work for the designer to do. However, do you want your name and your career linked to bad design? And that is something you really need to think about for the long term. The third biggest client issue is where the client randomly disappears or they just go silent midway through a project. And this can happen for various reasons ranging from them running off with a design that you might have sent over to them or they just simply abandoned the project. Now of course this is not a good situation for the designer so what do you do? Well firstly I refer back to the contract. Always secure a deposit upfront starting a project usually 50% of the agreed budget and have this written down in the contract. You want the contract to state that this deposit is not refundable once the project has begun. You do not want to put yourself in a situation where you're going to be working for free without any security. So even after writing up the contract, what if your client disappears? Now I'd start sending them polite reminders to their email or their social media accounts. See if they have activity on their accounts and try to understand exactly why they've abandoned the project. I wouldn't spend so much time tracking them down because as I've already said, your time is precious and you can spend that either working on another project or securing another client. As long as you have the deposit and it rightly states in the contract that it's not refundable, you should not have much to worry about. This is how powerful contracts are and this is why you should be using them for your graphic design career. So as I mentioned, sponsoring today's video is PDF Element Pro by Wondershare. 
Now let's take a brief look over this PDF editor because as a graphic designer, I feel it has a lot of use and potential. So firstly, you can zoom in and out here in the bottom right corner, but in terms of the tools, let's first take a look at the text tool. Now you can click the tool once to highlight it for its use, and as you can see, I can instantly move the text around my PDF business card. Now you can also use the arrows on your keyboard to nudge your text around the PDF document. And of course, you can also double click to enter into the text itself and then edit or add text thereafter. Now one really neat feature of PDF element is that it utilizes the feature of adding a watermark right onto your PDF, which can help to protect your work when sharing previews or your ideas, clients or other people. Now you can come here and add the watermark and you have the option to utilize a built-in text feature or you can upload an image or PDF of your personalized watermark. I'm just gonna quickly use a text option here to demonstrate and the cool thing is PDF element taps into your font library so I have access to all of my fonts on my computer. I also can adjust the size, the color and the position of the watermark and right now it's in the bottom right corner but I can literally place it over the top of my work if I want to protect my designs further. Now as designers, we're gonna be working with contracts and briefs on a regular basis. And PDF element helps a lot here because I can save a PDF template and then quickly use the text tool to come into the text content and add in say the client's name. This saves time because I don't need to write out the contract details over and over. I just simply change a few details here and there. Another cool feature that can help with all kinds of PDF documents is that you can highlight areas of text with the highlights option. Just like with Adobe software programs, you can press Command or Control Z to undo something within PDF Element. Now lastly, in a similar fashion as the watermark, I can add a signature with the signature option. I've made a signature prior which will be saved within PDF element and this is great for working with contracts but also I can use this as a kind of watermark. Now it's really easy to position and maneuver the signature around the PDF and this feature is really handy to have in many scenarios. So please do check out PDF element link down below where you can grab a free download right now and add it into your graphic design workflow. So there is today's video on three biggest client issues and their solutions when embarking on a graphic design career. I hope you learned something today and if you're digging this kind of content do let me know down below with a comment and also a like on the video. Have a great day and until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.